Hello! In this tutorial we are going to analyze the possibilities we have to fragment a hollow mesh. For this, we will use a statue model, downloaded from TurboSquid, as an OBJ file, and imported to Max. If we enable edged faces, we can see that the model is way too heavy for what we need. To solve this, select the mesh and go to the Modify panel. If you have Max 2010, choose Pro Optimizer from Modifiers list. If not, just use the older Optimize modifier. Press the Calculate button. After the calculation is over we can decrease the number of vertexes. To do this, decrease the percent to 50. As you can see, the points number is reduced to half, with no big loose in quality. For what we need in this tutorial we'll go even further. Set the vertex percent to 10. When you are happy with the result, collapse the mesh, and convert it to poly. Shift drag and make another two copies of the object. Rename them, Mesh 1, Mesh 2, and Mesh 3. For the first mesh we are going to use Rayfire tool. Open the Rayfire tool floater. Select the Objects tab, and click Add Impact Objects. The selected mesh will be added to the list. Go to the Fragmentation tab. Click Fragment Material, and choose a material for the fragments. In the Material Editor, I have some pre-made materials. I'll choose the red material name section. Leave the fragmentation type to uniform, and set the iterations number. I set it to 40. Click Fragment Impact Objects. When the fragmentation finished close the Rayfire tool floater. The default result will be a solid mesh with no cavity inside. Let's try to fragment the mesh in such way to get a hollow fragmented mesh. Select the second mesh. Hold Shift and scale it to make a smaller copy. Rename it to Mesh 2 inside. Add the green material to it. Select the outer mesh and hit Alt X to make it see through. We have to adjust the inner mesh so the two meshes won't interpenetrate. Enter Vertex Sub-Object Mode and use soft selection to adjust the inner mesh. Scale it until it fits inside the mesh. When you are done, enter the face sub-object mode. Select one face and click Ctrl plus A, this will select all the faces. Press the flip button to flip the normals for all the faces. Exit the face sub-object mode. Select the outer mesh, and hit Alt X, to exit the see-through mode. Go to the Modify panel and click Attach List. From the list choose Mesh 2 Inside Object. 
For the material options just click OK. Now we have a single mesh with a cavity inside. To fragment this, we'll going to use Volume Breaker Modifier, from Sevas. Go to the Modify panel, and from the Modifiers list, choose Volume Breaker. Set it to Homogeneous. Set Density to 4, and Raster to 3. Scroll down to Options, and set the Material ID for the Fragments to 3. Go to Elements to Nodes Rollout. In the Prefix text box type a name for the Fragments. Enable Center Pivot to center the pivot to each fragment. Press Copy and Hide button. This will convert the fragments to geometry. Now you can access and manipulate the fragments in the scene. Select all the fragments and open the material editor. Select a multi sub object material and assign it to selection. Now every material ID has a different color. This is one way to fragment hollow geometry, but is not the best way. Next we'll explore another way that can be done both with Rayfire and Volume Breaker. I have chosen Rayfire to demonstrate this method. Select the third mesh. Find a place that will not be visible by the camera. Enter the face sub-object mode. Select some faces and delete them. This will make a hole in the mesh. From the modifiers list apply a shell modifier. Set the inner amount to 2, and the outer amount to 1. This will give thickness to our mesh. When you are happy with the result collapse the mesh and convert it to poly. Open Rayfire Tool Floater. Go to Objects tab. Click Clear to remove previous objects. With the new object selected, click Add. This will add Mesh 3 to the Impact Objects list. Go to Fragmentation tab. Click Fragment Material and select the Red Material Names section. Click Fragment Objects. We see that we have some weird mesh in the scene. This happens sometimes if a fragmentation occurs near a group of very close vertexes. Go to Manager menu, and select Delete. To solve this you have to mess around with the settings until you get a satisfactory result. The idea is to randomize a bit the fragments so the new cuts will occur in slightly different places. When you finish close the Rayfire floater, and drag the fragments to see the result. We see that with this method we get a clean mesh with an even thickness. Feel free to try this method also with Volume Breaker. Thanks for watching. That's all for now. Visit www.community.ro for more.